Today is the 24th of May 2013. Uh, this video is to show the uh, problems I have with the Trickster Pyrus that I got as a replacement for an older version of Pyrus. I bought Atalia in March this year. This one I got the 17th of May. Yesterday I was transferring a DRM book from my computer to this and after that I got this falling error. So I turn it on. It flashes and then it gets back to this. Nothing happens. I will try the reset mode as suggested in the self-help part of Trexler's support. You press down the button for 8 seconds. And release. And then you should press the power button again for 3 seconds. And still nothing. Okay. Then we try to plug it into the computer instead. <coughs> As you can see, it's plugged in, and I'm using the rear end of the computer, so it's connected directly to the motherboard of my computer, and it just starts flashing like this and will do so and sometimes we'll hear a blip from the computer telling me that it's getting some sort of connection but then it's losing connection. I have also tried charging it via a USB to the wall socket uh, that has a standard output of a USB port and try charging this for a couple of hours still the same problem so the problem seems that this Trexter Pyrus doesn't handle DRM files very well and uh, that's quite interesting because Talia where I bought this unit from works mostly with DRM files so it should compose a bigger problem than this and it's continuing flashing There you hear the blip from my computer, but still no information that the digital edition has acknowledged the, the unit. The suggestion from Trekstore is also to format the unit via the internal option in the in the settings menu, but uh, I can't do that because I can't access the menu. I will unplug it like that. And yeah, you get to flash again, trying to update the uh, media content on the internal SD drive, but still, no luck. Flash and back again. So, track store, what is your suggestion this time? A new replacement, maybe? Thank you.